Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Jess and welcome back to Prince of Hippie. Welcome back to another video. As you can tell behind me, this is the long-awaited IKEA greenhouse cabinet moss wall build video. So if that does interest you, I please ask that you stick around, leave a like, maybe even a comment down below, or even subscribing so that you are notified every time I upload a new video and to help me keep on planting. Please also don't forget to follow me on Instagram at planted.hippie where I post new planty photos daily. I will be having to split up this video into two parts just because of there being so much footage. I will also be doing a sort of voiceover style for this video and sort of popping in and out letting you guys know what I'm doing throughout the process and the products I'm using as well as Austin is going to appear in this video because he helped me construct the cabinet as like a whole before I started even can putting in the foam or the moss so a huge thank you to my fiance Austin for helping out and helping make this cabinet possible because I would have not been able to do all those instructions initially so let's go ahead and get into the first part of this ikea greenhouse cabinet build okay so i did a little test run i guess of the recording so i'm going to i think i like the audio i'm not sure so i apologize if the audio is crap from here on out but we are going to go ahead and just do a little voiceover style for this video so i have the i guess video rolling we have me and Austin just here opening up the box, getting all of the items from the IKEA box unpackaged, and we're laying out all the parts and getting all of the hardware laid out, and I started to go through that little hardware bag with all the nuts and bolts and everything, and I went ahead and just organized them all into a little pile of similar nuts and bolts. So it was easier for Austin to go ahead and grab. And yeah, I think it helped him <laughs> a little bit because I wasn't really of much help with anything else other than showing moral support. So again, a huge thank you to Austin for helping me out with this build. Again, this is a Redsta Ikea cabinet not really made to like have plants in it but obviously as us plant people know this community has sort of just been converting these cabinets into little plant terrariums and holding plants and now turning them into moss walls so i really wanted to try this after i saw benji plant and plant me ashley do it so i wanted to join the party so yeah um, Austin is really, really handy. He works at Toyota. He's a um, car technician and mechanic, so he graciously and lovingly offered to help me out building it. Since I'm not really good at reading directions, my ADHD mind is just terrible at it, and he is so much faster at it. As you can see, he is just blazing through this, already starting to put on the doors. He put on the back really, really easy. It all is like, it all comes together in like little panels. He said the instructions were relatively easy. Looky there, he is already done. All right, so after we finished, or I guess I should say after Austin finished putting together the cabinet, we went ahead and moved the cabinet into one of our spare bedrooms so that we could start the silicone process of sealing all of the edges on the inside of the cabinet to make sure the humidity stays nice and secure inside and that we don't have any leaking on the bottom if I were to overwater the cabinet for whatever reason in the future. So here I'm quickly just showing the brand of clear silicone that we used. It was by Loctite and yeah I just got it at Home Depot and it worked really really well. So after that I gave the bottle back to him because I snatched it away from him to show you guys on camera and as you can see he is just sort of squeezing a good amount of the silicone 
on the edges and the openings of the cabinet. So each one of those panels in the back is a has a little crease opening where he bolted them together and he's also now just going down the sides of the cabinet where the glass and the metal meet to make sure that's all sealed and what this does is just make sure that all of the humidity and water stays trapped inside the cabinet and doesn't leak either on the bottom as you can see when he puts the silicone down he's then going back over with his gloved hands i stress to please wear gloves when doing this it is not good for your skin to have silicone on your skin but i do but he is just laying the silicone down and then just going back over it with a gloved finger dragging the silicone and getting the excess off and making sure it is just getting pushed and sealed into those crevices so he is just doing that along the bigger parts and excuse the thunder i don't know where all this water or i guess it is rainy season now it's coming into hurricane season here in florida so get ready for a lot of thunderstorms in my videos here is another shot of him just laying the silicone down in one of the back crevices he is going to then once he's done putting the silicone down he's just going to take one of his fingers and then smear it in so it is completely wedged in that corner and doing the job all right so it's now the next day and i let the silicone dry for 24 hours and i am here just setting up my little station for the process to start adding the foam so i quickly set up my little bale of hay and everything and then realized that i was about to skip a step which was very important and that was blacking out the sides of my cabinet since i was going to be putting the foam all the way on both sides i wanted to have the sides painted black so that you would not be able to see the foam like in some other builds that i've seen so i went ahead and took some just normal black acrylic paint and started painting on the inside of the cabinet so that the outside would be nice and smooth and looking nice and clean i've seen other people paint on the outside and it just doesn't look great so i decided to paint on the outside on the so i decided to paint on the inside and it turned out great and you'll see eventually how it looks and that painting on the inside was definitely a good call and yeah here at the end i showed the end result of how nice and smooth and blacked out the sides of the cabinet now look and i love it it looks really really chic and it looks really just clean and yeah you won't be able to see the foam on the outside and that is exactly what i intended to do so i'm very very happy that that worked out all right so it was another day whenever i had finished painting and i started the foaming process so as you can see i started off with three plastic nursery pots for my i guess just place fillers for the plants that i'm going to want to be planting into them at a later date when the plants are ready so you can just see i am slowly adding the foam in i used a insulation foam called big gap filler i believe it was called and i just got it from lowe's it worked really well so I really like using it. Um, just shake it well before use. And yeah, it sort of just does the job for you. Austin was really helpful with having them sort of shaken and putting the little nozzle on for me since I have trouble with literally everything. As you can see, I was making some really good progress. This night, I was sort of just focusing on my design. As you can see, I added a beautiful piece of cork um, bark I got from a local nursery down in the land. Uh, it's called EFG Orchids and yeah they sell like really cool additional things like that for your plants and terrariums and stuff like that so I had to get one for this build. I actually ended up um, not using two other pieces of cork that I bought just because they didn't end up fitting very well and I think it looked a lot nicer just with this vertical one coming up the center and yeah i really think it ended up turning out really really pretty so i'm really glad i incorporated this piece of 
cork because I have a little nursery pot at the base of it so that I can hopefully plant a shingling type plant in there and yeah have it shingle up that beautiful cork. As you can see I am sort of just fitting two little cups up in the corners as well as seeing where I want to put those little shelves. Um, I started to realize that I needed to flip the cabinet on the side if I wanted to keep adding vertical elements so I had Austin help me flip it on this and as you can see it made attaching the cups to the wall a lot easier because I did not have gravity working against me. So in this clip I am just sort of finishing up the last little section of foam. I was really in my little home stretch here and I was really really excited to get this part done. And yeah, it was really starting to feel real at this point. I also was just sort of going back throughout the cabinet and filling in any spots that were a little shallow or sparse because I knew I needed a lot of foam in order to be able to pin the moss into it so it couldn't be too shallow, especially on the sides there. So yeah, I was just making sure that the foam was all level to a place that I knew I was going to be able to pin the moss into and and yeah so I think I'm about to start talking again on a new day so let's go back to the video. Alright so welcome back I'm here on another day and I am going to start the process of just carving out the excess foam and adding our moss. So without further ado let's go ahead and get into this portion of our build. So I'm really excited to add this moss because I'm really thinking it's going to really come to life tonight. Alright, I have my wire that I'm going to use to cut and pin the sphagnum moss into the foam with. I have a large bowl of water on the floor here ready to start putting this large gigantic massive bag of stagnant moss this is absolutely huge i'm so excited to get started oh there's an ant inside go away <laughs> all right well let's go ahead and just start adding the sphagnum moss to my little bowl of water. So once I got the moss all moistened and ready for pinning, I just started going to town. It really went by really like fast and was kind of therapeutic and fun for me. I was just listening to music and just making sure I was doing it right and putting as many wire pins in the moss as possible so that when I flipped the cabinet back upright I didn't have a ton of moss falling out of the spots that I pinned it in. So yeah, nothing more to really say other than just watching me pin the moss. So go ahead and enjoy the music I've been playing throughout the video and watch me pin this moss.
beginning in a new day and I just took this night in my pajamas to just get some progress done and this will be the last little snippet of footage that you will see from my um, from adding the moss until we get to part two so I do thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of this video and I will see you guys in part two thank you guys again if you stuck all the way to the end I do appreciate you and please ask that you leave a like a comment down below or even subscribing so that you are notified every time I upload a new video and to help me keep on planting so with that I will see you all in part two bye guys